I came to this country eight years ago, and I see everybody knows about what's not in Ethiopia, what's not there, you know. You know, all the problems that are happening in Ethiopia or Africa. So I kind of wanted to do something that only celebrate what we have. I actually was working for a car service as a dispatcher for six years. I never thought I would be cooking. And then I met Leyu, and then he told me uh, we were looking for someone to make coffee for us because him and Sam was starting, you know, to make banana. So I said, I said, you know what? I will just. I said I will help you to make coffee. They asked me if I can cook, you know, a few stuff for them. Then I cooked, and then it became like every week thing, you know. <laughs> People tasted her food and it became all about the food ever since. And from there it started growing and they start making like dinner parties. Then I was, I, got, I kind of got hooked. We started out with foil containers and then we changed into metal containers and then we changed into the plugging. We were in here as a pop-up, a lunch pop-up, and in the evenings it was a southern food restaurant. But they were going on the outs. Eventually, the owner decided to pull the plug and he approached us to take over the space. We negotiated, uh, signed a contract, and then we had about six weeks to raise the money to pay the first month's rent and to build out the place. So it was go time, and we just begged, borrowed, and scrapped, and you know, just built it all ourselves. Going from a pop-up into actually an actual like permanent place, it's just it's, it's, it's amazing, it's mind-blowing. There is the tradition of Ethiopian, Ethiopians going vegan for religious fasting, for Lent, for uh, usually twice a week. They'll abstain from meat and alcohol um, as part of their, their Orthodox, Orthodox Christianity, as part of their religion. And in a year, there is more fasting days than non-fasting days. So the, uh, the daily diet is vegan food. So it creates, it's created a unique, like, time-honored, old cuisine that's had a lot of time to, cult, to be nurtured and developed into something that's really tasty. And, and it's not substituting for anything else. It's the kind of food that people come in, they don't even realize there's no meat. You know, they'll eat it and at the end of the, and at the, end of the night, we'll either will tell them or they'll notice on their own that there wasn't any meat in that food. That shock is like always amusing to see. When we eat vegan food at home, it's called bayanetu, which means like uh, like variety. I love vegetables, I love fruits, so basically like when I see them on the plate, I, 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 I want to see them they live, you know, I don't want, you know, I don't want to see them being overcooked and, you know, and, and in Ethiopia usually people overcook their food, you know, so we think that if we overcook the food it tastes more better, you know, so yeah, it's, but it's actually not true, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Buna Cafe means coffee. Buna means coffee in Amharic, so Coffee Cafe is basically the name of our restaurant. Coffee is not only just something you drink to get through the day, but it's, it's a very important part of culture itself. It sustains a lot of farmers, you know. It's grown all over Ethiopia. So everybody, everybody drinks it, and everybody drinks it and like just takes raw beans in their home and they'll roast it. In every Ethiopian family, whenever like the mother makes coffee, she sends the kids out to invite the neighbors and they all come and then sit down. And, then, and that's their end of the day ritual. It's like they, they talk about the day, talk about the crops, the neighbors, you know, what's on TV, and drink really good coffee. So we were also really interested in, in bringing that to the forefront, the coffee ceremony. I guess if we have a slogan, it's everything is eshi, which means eshi means in Amharic, when you're like, when you're like acknowledging something, you say eshi, like okay. You know, like somebody's telling you something, can you go to this, like, eshi, eshi. But we took it in a different context, like, everything is okay, you know, like, everything is eshi kind of means, it's all good, you know, like, we're here, we're enjoying ourselves, we're, we're dining with other people, we're experiencing other people, uh, and it's all good.